It's going to make this any easier. There's got to be something. I'm going crazy. Hell, if it helps. So am I. You know, when you held me this afternoon, I, I felt really horrible because I was feeling good about being close to you. It's like trying to do the right thing and stay away from you. It's, it's turning me into some kind of desperate. Can you talk to me, please? I can't say what you want to hear. Well, what are we going to do? There's nothing we can do. I'm trying to get some sleep. Good night. miles away. Shane. All the what ifs. If I hadn't asked him to help me with Rosemary's pen. If he hadn't cut his hand. If only they'd said something to me about it. Or about the fact that he had that cough. It's a mighty big word for two letters, eh? I just like... Not so good, you? Lonely. I just felt, um... I don't know. I, I had a lot on my mind. I needed some space. Plus, I figured I'd be tossing and turning all night. Keep you awake. That wouldn't have been a problem. Would have been for me. Nothing personal. Never been to a funeral before. What do you think it'll be? Well, not until the autopsy's over. And then it's up to Angel, I guess. Do you reckon we should do anything? Like go around or ring or something? I don't know. The rest of the world's probably trying to do the same thing. Yeah, you don't think they like that, do you? She must be really spinning out. Well, she'll find a way to cope. People do. Yeah, but she's got Dylan to look after, another one on the way, and all those bills to pay with only one income. Plus, she just lost the guy she was going to spend the rest of her life with. I've been full time just trying to get my head around that. Yeah, well, at least she had him for a little while. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sam, have you got any more leads? Have you run out? Oh, no, I was just wondering. Try looking. What's his problem? Oh, uh, he's still dirty to me, something I said about Shane. What? Like the truth? That stuff like that happens and there's no point whinging about it? 
Well, sometimes it helps to get things off your chest. You reckon? What, you're not getting a few things out of your system there? It's not going to change anything though, is it? So why bother trying, right? I've been there and done that. It yeah. doesn't work. Look, mate, I've proved it, right? I mean, you think I dump on people on purpose? You think I like having the rest of the world against me? Listen, man, you can be as sorry as you like and you want to change as much as you like, but when stuff like that happens, there's nothing you can do about it. So you just give up, right? No, you go with the flow. What, and that's not a cop-out? Listen, mate, you can call it whatever you like, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm not hitting my head against the brick wall anymore. Well, surely this can wait. I'm going to have to deal with it sooner or later. Yes, but why now? Because Dylan wants to see them, and so do I. But I don't think you need reminders of yesterday, so silly. They're everywhere I looked on. The piece of money, I... No, no, look, please, 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 let me at least pay for the developing. Thanks. Um, I'll go into that one-hour place in Yabby Creek. Look, what, what, why don't you come with me for a drive? Just get out of the house for a while. No, 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 I've got to sit Dylan down and have a chat to him while we've got the house to ourselves. All right, well, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Dylan, can you come here, please, sweetheart? Here. I want to have a chat to you, darling. What about? Look at me. Remember when, remember when you were sick and Shane and I used to talk about going to heaven? Yeah. And that usually only old people go there? Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes young people do too when they have accidents or, or when they're sick, like Shane was yesterday. So that's what happened to Shane and, and that's where he's gone. When did he go? He went yesterday. Why didn't he say goodbye? Because he didn't have time, sweetheart. When is he coming back? <sighs> he's not. Why? Well, because when you go to heaven, sweetheart, you don't come back. And you're there for good. But I don't want him to be gone forever. Morning, Dr. Watson. That Dr. McLaren is a matter of opinion. Yesterday was a tough one. Whenever I lose a patient, I spend a lot of time making damn sure I couldn't have changed the outcome. And when that patient is a friend, I'm even harder on myself. But the bottom line is, there was no way that you, or even someone as extraordinarily talented as me, could have second-guessed yesterday's outcome. Now, once you face that fact, you have one more to face. Your responsibility is to the living here, and it's the lesson. Thank you. Save it till you've seen my bill. I've still got to be good, haven't I? Because Shane will be watching me from heaven, won't he? Of course he will. All the time. But he won't be able to read me any stories at bedtime, really. No, darling, but Mummy can do that. And uh, I'm, I can tuck you in and, and give you cuddles. But who will tickle me like Shane used to? Well, Mummy will have to do that too. Now, I can remember Shane telling me that you're not ticklish here, hey? <laughs> and, oh, and definitely not here. <laughs> <laughs> and here? 